Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Salih Shalma here and welcome to the next video in this uh, homemade DIY mini electric boat video series. What a good day to start working on it. Check this out. It's just raining. It started raining. Weather suddenly cools down. Seems like the raining will continue a bit. So it gives me enough time to start working on the boats. Let me show you what I have to do today. Boat is ready to take mods and today's task is to install twin motors and use the new VES, V-E-S-C from Spin End which I have already configured and tested. Uh, so before I continue uh, for the installation of uh, twin electric motors, I would like you to come with me to my little messy table in my main cave upstairs and take a closer look at this new VESC from Spinan, talk about its features and I will also share my experience uh, for using the VESC and why I actually like to use a VESC for my boat and twin electric motors. After that when you come down we'll install the electric motors. Once everything is set we'll take it out for another spin and see what twin motors can do. Okay so my spin and VESC U-Box dual ESC 75 volt 100 amp X2 came with all these accessories. In the box I had this VESC I had this Uni1 remote controller okay I have this extra receiver for Uni1 remote controller and then I have all these cables including a XT90 connector a momentary switch on off switch and all these cables that I can use for my future projects if I want to use other uh, features of the VESC. This U-Box is a very nice build. It's a, it's a big, a strong build right here and having to have these four sides that you can use the screws on, you can easily fit it on your skateboards, electric scooters or um, as in my case in, uh, on the boat, very very easily I can fix it. Now if you look at the ESC, of course I will talk about complete features later. We have here multiple ports. As you can see all these ports at both sides of the ESC. You can use them as per your requirements. We also have USB-C at both sides right here. Also where my thumb is, there is a 2.4 GSG receiver built in and at this side there is a built-in Bluetooth controller that you can use to connect your VESC to your phones via Bluetooth and using a VESC tool you can configure all the parameters using your phone only. You don't have to, you know, grab a computer or a heavy laptop or something like that. I simply love that feature. So we have two motors connections on top, ESC A and ESC B and one main input right here. After that do notice that we do have BMS port right here and we have a switch port right here where you will add the momentary switch and horn and light ports as well which output 12 volts so you can basically use these 12 volts out uh, for other purposes for instance if you're using high voltage on your ESC and your ESC is VESC is getting hot you can use 12 volt out from here and add a fan like a CPU fan on it to keep this e VESC cool also right here in the middle you have seven LED lights which shows you different status of the ESC, VESC while it's working. At the left side you also have ground 5 volt servo and the right side ground 5 volt servo as well which I believe you can use to uh, many other purposes. So I, I really am very very new to VESCs and this is my very very first time to use. Uh, many things are complete mumbo jumbo so excuse me if I couldn't give you very uh, professional information about it. However if you check the link in video description about this VESC U-Box from Spin N, you can get all the information, all the professional information and pro, uh, all the pro act specs, all the pro specs about this VESC on their website so do go there and check that out now for me 
this is really very very easy to use the uni one controller that came with it binds with it very very quick also you can see how good the spin and uni one controller is it also shows all the real-time data right here while I'm operating motors and not only that I have a complete menu right here in my hands so I can configure some of the very very key settings right from the radio controller of course using the radio controller again is very very easy you can also use it to turn the lights on and off that means you know you can use this port and it's features to control different other stuff right from the remote control. I have to do a little bit of modifications to my mo to my boat to add to add twin motors and I will be using a rudder. Let me show you my rudder right now. Because I will be using uh, twin motors fixed, I don't want to turn motors. I found that previously I used something like this to turn the motor and when the motor is going at full power, it is very difficult to turn the motor because of all that power. So on the all new Shark SC10 Plus from Lotmax, bigger 3D printer, I was able to 3D print this big rudder piece for my boat in one at just one time. No more slicing it just one time. Look at the size of this thing. This is by far the biggest print, 3D print that I have ever done. Uh, it was really easy to 3D print. You can see that in 20 hours the Lotmex Shark SC10 Plus did it absolutely fine and it is on 10 only 10 uh, infill is a 10 percent only and it's really nice and strong I was thinking I will fiberglass it or put epoxy on it for a stronger build but this is already very very strong let's grab the VSC and let's head down to workshop for further setup of twin motors VSC on my boat and take it out for a spin. I can only imagine how powerful it's gonna be now. Welcome back downstairs in my workshop. Let's get to work on the boat. <laughs> Welcome to my dirty old little workshop. All I need is scrap wood. It will give me two pieces to cut and install. Alrighty, so this piece is big. I can easily get two motor mounts out of it.
Okay, I think I'm almost done here. Two motors, one rudder in the middle, and rudder is not gonna touch the motors, obviously, it's not gonna turn that much. All right, next was to set up the VESC using the app on my Android phone, and I can tell you by far this is the easiest thing to do. So all you need to do is enter the setup, choose your motor type, in my case it was the large motor. After that, choose your battery cells, battery capacity, and how many max amps your batteries can pull. Here you have to be very very careful because if you uh, mention, if you choose too many amps to pull out of your batteries, you can destroy your batteries. Then choose the motor poles and go next. It will detect the motors automatically, it will spin the motors in both directions and it will give you all the information about your motors right away and that is all after that you just have to set forward uh, direction of your motors here you can easily reverse the motors if they are not uh, rotating in the right direction it's just that easy if you have to set up an input using some different controllers you can easily do that and now you can see everything in real time all your motor and VESC running data Man, I simply love it. Okay, slow down and punch once. Ooh! <laughs> okay, slow down. Punch! Oh. <laughs> so, let's reverse the boat. And this is what I love about VESCs, you know? I can reverse the boat. Okay, turn around. Slowly. Oh, Why you're not controlling? MashaAllah. Go right in a little. Right a little, yeah. Oh, so now? Oh. <laughs> this is also fun, right? You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.